Uh, now let's return to our main story, the continuing problems caused by severe weather. Let's take a look at the weather warning currently enforced. Now the Met Office has a yellow warning overnight for people in the east of England, London and the southeast and in southwest England. It says ice will be the main hazard on Saturday evening, overnight and into Sunday morning. There's also a yellow warning of uh, snow and ice in place so much of Scotland for Monday. Well, let's speak to uh, Philip Garner, forecaster at a weather quest. Always good to talk to you, Philip. Thanks for your time. What should we be expecting for the coming days? Well, generally, I think as we go through into next week, we will start to see a change to much milder weather as the winds swing around to the southwest. We start to see some air coming in off the Atlantic. In the short term, though, as you were suggesting with the weather warning, still a couple of things to watch out for. We still have some wintry showers running along eastern coasts of England. That could give some temporary accumulations there. And while we had all the snow over southern England uh, yesterday, that is starting to thaw now. But with a very sharp frost coming along tonight, that could turn very icy indeed. Oh, so there's a risk of firm ice now. In terms of the short term, what areas um, are the worst affected? Well, I think in terms of any snow showers, we're talking about northeast England, Lincolnshire, a few across East Anglia. There are one or two across northern Scotland as well, but they're not as heavy as we uh, saw yesterday. Not the persistent snow that we saw across southern England. Can you possibly say whether this is going to be the only cold snap we're due to have, or could there well be more in February? Oh, I think there's bound to be more in February. If nothing else, I think we will see one or two frosty spells coming along. And even by the time we get through to the beginning of March, you can still see some quite cold weather. If you remember, the beast from the east last year didn't turn up until the end of February, beginning of March. So the weather can still turn very wintry. Um, is, that, is that unusual that we're getting a potential cold snap in March? No, not really. As I say, it's only a potential uh, cold snap at this stage. Uh, at the moment, we're having a fairly traditional British winter. That's to say the uh, snow is tending to come in from the north or northwest. And in between, we're having some milder spells of weather. So I think uh, it is going to be a little bit changeable. There's nothing at the moment particularly threatening in terms of cold weather. But one you have to watch out for, even as I say, by the time you get through to the end of February, beginning of March. And last year, you mentioned the beasts um, from uh, the east. And uh, also, we had a very hot weather um, over, over a couple of months in uh, mm. July and August. Uh, is that likely to be the same this year? Or is it too early for you to be able to, to, be able to um, put your finger on it? It is far too early to tell. Our longer term forecasts go three, four weeks ahead. Uh, beyond that, you're starting to get very speculative as to how the weather may turn out. And clearly it's influenced by uh, things that are happening elsewhere in the globe. So uh, really, really hard to say what the summer would turn out with. Uh, really a shot in the dark at this stage. OK, Peter, good to talk. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye.